time someone watching this video subscribes, I will give you a penny. If 1 million people subscribe because of this video, you get 10,000. 10 million people subscribe, you get 100,000. But to determine the winner, you guys will need to do a painting challenge. Lift up your paintbrush. Throw it to the side. <laughs> We are painting with our fingers. Again, the best one will win all the money for every time someone subscribes. The losers will get ice dumped on their head. You have four hours, time starts now. Viv, I know you're very good at finger painting and surprisingly, you have not won a single challenge yet. This might be the one though. So it's gonna change today? I'm hoping it will. So far, Mackenzie's won the most out of anyone here. Guys, this means that if someone needs to get punished, we know who we're going for, right? <laughs> Okay, wait, one question. Why isn't anyone starting? All right, first person to get any paint on the canvas will win something. Okay. All right, Viv, since you were the first one to put paint on the canvas, choose one person and they need to paint with their toe for an hour. Viv, I jumped in the pool for you. Oh my God, this right, is so Viv. cold. <laughs> Viv, you're safe this time because Mackenzie jumped in I'm for you. Crazy. Viv, it can be anyone. Who is it? I'm Kenzie. Oh! Kenzie, you just got stabbed in the back by Viv. Mackenzie, for the first hour, you have to paint with your big toe. Yeah. This is what you get out of jumping in the pool. Jake, what's the plan? I am making a finger themed creature mm. because we are finger painted. I'm gonna paint some sneakers, specifically some mochas. I'm gonna draw some colorful elephants. Keep in mind, you haven't won one yet. Imagine this, if you won all of them, you probably would have like 200,000 right now. That would have been great. But maybe this one? I'm painting a nice scenery. Again, this is my second time finger painting. This was Michelle's painting the first time, and I guess we can compare them and see if they're better. Well, if you wanna know the quickest way to get a foot cramp, this is it. All right, well, good luck, everyone. We're around half an hour in. <laughs> Got my handy dandy reference. This is my own hand, by the way. Well, I can't move because I have paint on my foot that is wet. Viv, since you oh so gratefully blessed me with this challenge, I'm gonna need white paint and that little like, periwinkle color. There you go. It's been one hour, Mackenzie. You can start using your finger again. That is a really nice background, though. Ooh, all right, that's looking pretty good. Really? Kind of, yeah. It's not too bad. These rainbow elephants are looking pretty nice. Did you get inspiration from that rainbow elephant right yeah, here? Yeah, I saw it and I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is just gonna be like a chippy background to make that pop. It's a finger-themed creature. These are gonna be hands as wings. The hair is gonna be fingers. The legs are gonna be fingers. And obviously, I'm gonna clothe my finger creature. Guys, we have a challenge. It is a very simple game of rock, paper, scissors. If you lose, you get ice water dumped on your head. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You're safe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Michelle is safe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! So it looks like Jazz gets some ice water. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh wait. <laughs> no, that's a rock. You get ice water. Guys, this is why you don't lose in rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Jake, we're not finished. What? That's all we have? <laughs> Are we done now? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Jazz and Jake, don't lose next time. All right, so we're about an hour and a half in. I'm honestly surprised Mackenzie's doing so well, considering she had to paint with her toes. We'll have to see how well she paints with her finger, but it's looking really, really nice. Michelle's is doing okay. She has this turquoise road, and then she's trying to draw a couple trees. This is looking really, really nice. She took inspiration from a rainbow elephant. I think she's gonna do well. Jazz has some sneakers painted. It looks a little bit empty, but if she works on the background, she might be able to make a top two finish. I feel like Jake's is gonna end up being a wild card. It's really, really strange but it looks kind of good. We still have around two and a half hours left. We have another mini challenge. You'll have a chance to win some money. Everyone pull out your phone, go on to YouTube. So we have a new channel called ZHC Shorts. I'm gonna go check to see who subscribed to it. Mackenzie is not subscribed to ZHC Shorts. Michelle is not subscribed. <laughs> Michelle, you're the one who created it with me. How are you not subscribed? Viv is subscribed to ZHC Shorts. Are you subscribed though? I just found out ZHC Shorts was a thing, so. Okay. <laughs> you already no, I'm subscribed, come on. Jake, you subscribed to the wrong one. <laughs> Jake did have the right intentions, but unfortunately, you subscribed to the fake ZHC shorts. I was gonna give everyone who subscribed to it $100, but since literally nobody else subscribed but you, you'll get everyone's money. You get 500. So moral of the story, subscribe. <laughs> In this tray, we have seven slips of paper. One of you guys could get eliminated right now. So you pretty much do whatever is on the paper. 
Add to a painting. Mackenzie, are you gonna get revenge? Oh! oh. oh. Yes. Your turn yes. to choose. Help someone with an egg. <laughs> I might have to go with Jake. No! Oh. <laughs> This is getting a little intense. I have to sit out for 30 minutes. Pour ice on competitor. Yeah, I chose Michelle. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Jess, it's been 30 minutes. You can keep painting. So the artists have around 45 minutes left and it's time to give them another challenge. What's gonna happen right now is as a team, you will pick one person. That person will either get a punishment or they might get a little advantage. Oh, you guys yeah. vote and decide. Oh. All right, Jake. Jake. Yeah, Jake. I vote Jake too. I vote for Jasmine. So four votes Jake, <laughs> one vote Jazz, which means Jake, you're gonna take a paper towel, you're gonna drench it in paint and throw it at whichever painting oh. you want. Go ahead and drench this in paint. Just wait, wait. Oh, no. multiple colors. Whenever you're ready, Jake. One chance and you missed. Not gonna lie, the damage isn't that bad. All right, Jake, how do you think you're doing so far? I have the most original art piece here, but I'm gonna really have a hard time trying to outline these fingers. Who do you think is taking the dub? I think that <laughs> Viv is taking the dub. Viv, who do you think is winning? Either Ken's or maybe me, but I don't think that's an option. <laughs> if I gotta say, Mackenzie or Viv. I think Viv. Jake's is also pretty good. You have 35 minutes left. <laughs> and we still have one more chance. Artist, pick a person. Uh, Michelle. They get the one with me for now. Michelle. Jess. Jake. Ironically, Michelle is the one with the most followers and subscribers on YouTube. So, yeah, subscribe to Michelle's YouTube channel. Follow her on Instagram. Michelle, I'll give you $100 to give to a random person. Oh, okay. Go wash your hands and then hold up your painting. So my painting is of an alligator. I like the trees over here. It looks really interesting how the alligator is submerged underwater. You can clearly see that this part's underwater and then it gets darker on top. It's a, it's a self portrait of me. I'm in a bunch of pink trees. Very cute. The trees are nice. You could have cleaned it up down here a little bit. It looks a little messy. Overall, I'd say good improvement. Well, I got inspiration from the elephant over there. It looks a little lonely, so I made two baby elephants. Ooh, not gonna lie, I really like the tusks. I do like the color and the contrast with the background. It really makes everything pop, so yeah, good job. We have a very colorful, vibrant, beautiful, bodacious background. And then we have some legs floating out of the sky over there. I created a finger-themed creature. It looks very interesting. Comment what you think. So I am gonna eliminate one person at a time until we have two left. Then I'm gonna let my subscribers choose which one they like the best. I love all of these paintings. I would personally hang all of them up. Unfortunately, four are gonna be losers. Yeah. Jess, so. unfortunately, you've been eliminated. I'm so sorry. Okay. Michelle, yeah. incredible Michelle, I love it. Now with that being said, you've been eliminated. <laughs> Viv, say goodbye to Jake because Jake <laughs> Jake. I just had to mess around with you guys a little bit. <laughs> so now it gets interesting. Viv, you've won zero challenges. Yeah. Mackenzie, you've won more than anyone here. You've won three challenges. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of them. <laughs> the voting has begun. <laughs> Mackenzie, if you do end up winning this challenge, what are you gonna do with the money? To my family or for a car so I don't have to keep walking. The results are in. Remember, whoever wins gets a penny for every single person that subscribes because of this video. Three, two, one! <laughs> the final result was 57% Viv, 43% Mackenzie. Viv will get a penny every time someone subscribes because of this video. This deal is for life. So in 20 years, if 10 million people subscribe because of this video, you get $100,000. Oh, Viv! Oh, Viv! This is why you should subscribe. And what did you say you were gonna use this money for? I'm gonna get a card and I'm gonna save it from Viv. Alright, good job! Hey Viv, what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna be the one that pours the ice on everyone else. <laughs> Michelle, Jazz, Jake, get outside. I'm one, sorry, Michelle, go. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. I hate you, Viv. Oh my gosh! I was 
craving candy and I was kind of bored, so I just bought 100,000 gumballs. We have five artists and 100,000 gumballs. Whoever makes the best art out of gum will win up to $10,000 for a charitable cause of their choice. Wow. And just as a little bit more incentive, I'll also toss in $500 for you. Yeah. And you get to keep the rest of the gum. Yay! Well, anyway, I'll give you five hours. Time starts now. Great. Jazz! Ew! Use your protection. Hey, gum. I hate it. I'm gonna throw it. I wish I didn't see that. We are 15 minutes in, which means we're gonna do our first challenge. Whoever can blow the biggest bubble will get an advantage. Ew. Oh wow. Three, two, one. All right, Jake. It looks like you are the winner of this challenge. Decide who has to wear this for the rest of the challenge. And they can take it off. Not at all. <laughs> If this is your costume for the rest of the challenge, you may not take it off. Also, everyone, did I mention, if you lose, you get gum in your hair. What? No. What? <laughs> Ew! Get me out hey, of here! I don't want to be Hey, Mackenzie, you want this Fanta? <laughs> Ew, it's sticky! So we're gonna play rock, paper, scissors until you win. If you win on the first round, you don't have to do any laps. Other than that, however many times it takes for you to win, that's how many laps around the house you have to do. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper, scissors, shoot. Two laps. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, you don't have to do any laps, Jake. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. All right, Michelle, I think that's eight. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, 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 shoot. All right, that's four laps. All right, everyone go run your laps. Ah! Ah! Okay, perfect. Oh, Burn off those gum calories. I'm done. Mama, last lap. I can't, I can't breathe. One hour in, which means we have another challenge. What you're gonna do is you have one minute to chew a piece of gum. Whoever stretches it the least has to do a punishment. Stretch your gum. You have five seconds to stretch it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, everyone, hold it up. What? Guys? Oh! Izzy, I think you lost. Oh, wait, I have to be punished? Oh, no. Izzy? This is fish oil. Oh! You're gonna put these on either side of your mouth and pop it. All right, everyone, cheer Izzy on. Go. Oh, I'm not sushi. Got it. Oh. <laughs> go, go, go. Since you didn't swallow the fish oil oh, pills. Oh god! Wow. Izzy, come with me. We're gonna see how many push-ups you have to do. Oh. You have three chips. Put these down here, and this will determine how many push-ups you have to do. <laughs> 21 push-ups. You have 22 push-ups before you can go back. Nice. <laughs> I'm so tired of chewing gum. But at least, I think my octopus is turning out good. Everyone, we are almost two hours in. Grab a piece of gum and come outside with me. Everyone, put your gumball on the ground right here. Without touching the gumball, you need to get the gumball all the way from over here to the end of the pool. The first two people to make it to the end are safe. The other three people have to do a ton of push-ups. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Michelle! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Move! <laughs> Wait, what happened to it? Come on, Jake. Let's touch the end. All right, Jake is saved. Jazz, what happened to your gum? It's squished! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jazz is safe. Ah, that was the worst thing in my life. Like my knees. Yay! <laughs> ten push-ups. Yeah. Eleven push-ups. No. All right, ten push-ups. Ten push-ups. Twenty-five. Fifty push-ups. How would you say your octopus is coming along? I'm just worried about not having enough time to finish it. Wait, I see the sushi. Yeah. I don't see the bowl of ramen. Yeah, I'm still working on my snail. I'm gonna be putting a big mama spider somewhere over here. I was going to do a bowl of tentacles and then that just didn't work out. So now I'm gonna do a snail. Interesting. We're gonna play a little game. You're gonna throw a gumball up in the air and catch it in your mouth. Oh, nice, you caught it. Nice. Oh, oh you missed, Michelle. <gasps> oh, Jazz, oh. you missed. If you get this in your mouth, you are safe. Oh, oh. so close. Michelle, Jazz, and Mackenzie, you guys are gonna do a face off. Oh! Wait! That was in and out! Oh. Nice! No. Oh! You two, rock, paper, scissors. Whoever loses gets their right hand Whoa. handcuffed. Rock, paper, scissors! No! It's gonna be connected to Michelle's. Wait, for some reason your gum looks so gross, but the other people's gum look nice and clean. What, what's going on? I might have not chewed it all the way. Everyone, I'm gonna have you come spin the wheel and this is how many laps you have to do around the house. All right, you're doing six laps. Jake, you're doing seven laps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nine. Oh, two. Oh, everyone, go run. Happy hour. Bye, guys. I'm going to get done with these laps real quick. I don't know. I don't have any shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Oh my gosh. Last one. All right, back to work. <sighs> wow. I'm ready to be unhandcuffed. Um, follow along. I can't think. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands in the air. It is <laughs> over. You may now get unhandcuffed. Yay! Why don't you tell us a little bit about your piece? So I decided to make a snake instead. I want to crush all the tiny little gumballs up to make all the scales. And I really wanted to kind of make it disguised because rattlesnakes are really camouflaged. Good job. So I made mama spider over here. It's got a little baby crawling up the web. They just wrapped up their dinner or whatever. Maybe it's a bee, a fly, you know. The spider's textures look very, very nice. Were you going for kind of a Spider-Man color theme? Yes. All right. At first, your piece of art was looking a little bit iffy, but 
you made it look really nice and the rice has texture, the seaweed. Overall, it looks kind of aesthetically pleasing. I would say I like the suction cups. I like the overall volume. And I kind of liked how you went with the gumballs. Good job, Mackenzie. All right, Michelle, tell me about your piece of art. Uh, mine is a baby snail in a big, large shell mountain. I mean, the snail looks cute. It looks a little stubby. <laughs> Jack, you want to know what Gabe said when he saw Michelle? <laughs> what? He said, damn, she really said I give up. <laughs> we will now be eliminating one person at a time. Michelle, why are you locking eyes with me? Why are you looking at me? Because, Michelle, you have been eliminated. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Izzy, unfortunately, you are out. I'm sorry. Can I get a drum roll, please? Next person out, Mackenzie! Oh. We are down to our last two. The winner of this challenge is... Oh my god. Jess! Oh my god! Well, Jess, you know how this works. You can donate up to 10 grand. Oh my god! We have a wheel over there. You will oh spin it. Oh my gosh! Come over here. Yeah, let's go. Yeah! Yeah! Artists, today you will each be making a costume for me. Whoever makes the best costume gets to win up to $10,000. What? So I usually have you guys give it to a subscriber, but this time you're splitting it with a subscriber. Oh but you guys are making these costumes from scratch. So you have a $500 budget, but you have 24 hours. Yeah, go shop. Get in, losers! We're, We're going, going shopping! Bye. Bye! We are outside of Joanne's! I'm gonna start by getting some of these boas. Oh, I think I might do something cool with all the fur. Got a large... Oh, there's ladies. Are you all ready to unlock your styles? Yes! So I'm creating the king of the ocean. I thought I'd go with like anime type style character. What on earth? I did the sketch. What? Michelle! Giant private parts. No! You will be a killer country clown riding a horse. Tell me, what are you gonna do with black <clears throat> and pink stuff? I wonder. Hear me out. Black pink themed wrestler bird. So you've heard of Mother Nature, uh -huh. but I'm creating Call it daddy nature. I am making you a psycho disco buddy outfit. It's gonna go over your head like this. Ooh. I'll be introducing you to your subscriber in just a second. Uh, hello. hello. Oh What's your name? I'm Brianna. Where are you from? I'm from Palestine. We are doing a crafts video right now. If we win, we get a chance to win up to ten thousand dollars or more. I'm Jake. What's your name and where are you from? Here. I think I'm from Haiti. I'm from the Philippines. Do you have any like words of encouragement for me? Just be yourself and be watching you. And being a part of this YouTube. Oh. Oh. Hi, so what's your name and where are you from? Leanna. Our names are so similar. That's so cute. So if I win, we get to win up to ten thousand dollars. Really? Oh yes. So here's what I'm making right now. I'll show you. It's gonna be nature's uh, no. Thank you. Hi there. What is your name and where you're from? My name is Mujahid. I'm from India. I hope you win. Aw, oh, thank you so much. I'm Michelle. What's your name and where are you from? Here in the Netherlands, we say Anshli. I think you can do it because it's your boyfriend, right? <laughs> Artists, as you know, Knockout City is a game of dodgeball. So, we have a little challenge. Come with me to the front. We're gonna play dodgeball. Get in. No! Artists, listen up. Last person to get hit, win something huge, go! <laughs> Mackenzie, you're out! <laughs> Jake! You're last, come in. My arms are sore. He's complaining. Hey Jake, you like candles, right? Yes! How about a very large candle? Oh, yes! Choose one target, you can bring any other stuff outside and you have 15 seconds to do what you want with that. All right, grab what you want, Jake. <gasps> Jake, start up the torch. All right, time starts now. One, two.
two, three, 13, 14, 15. Go for it, Viv. <laughs> Get him, Viv. Wait, what? Viv. Jake. Jake, put that down. Mmm, those are toasty. Ooh, there's a hole. Oh. Mackenzie has been leading in crafts challenges for six months straight. Looks like you're closing in the gap. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the feathers and how everything goes back. <laughs> you were torched by Jake. Yes. How are you recovering from that? Team play is essential, so whether you're playing with friends or creating a crew of up to 32 people, you should work together to knock out the opposition. Just like the challenge we're about to do. So everyone, get outside. Whichever team survives the longest will get an advantage. All three of you. Jake, Viv, Mackenzie, you guys are going first. Let's go All right, team Jake, Viv, and Mackenzie last in nine seconds. Michelle and Izzy, you last 33 seconds. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jake, Viv, Mackenzie, that means all three of you get punished. Each of you can take one thing from anyone else. Where's the hot glue gun? Oh, Mackenzie has a really good hot glue gun. Ooh, and Mackenzie, it looks like you have really good items, so they're all targeting you. <laughs> Zach, why are you so brutal with these? The mouse is yours. <laughs> I don't even need this mouse. Daisy literally just took it so Mackenzie couldn't use it. Mackenzie, Viv, and Jake, come over here. Are you ready to hear your punishment? Was that was it punishment or not? Three laps around the house. Lunges. I am wet and pissed off. Stupid lunges. Final few steps. Viv really doesn't want to do her lunges. See, three seconds, all I hear is something along the lines of, <laughs> Oh, good job, Viv. Oh. Good job. Come look at my buddy mask. I'm adding on the second ear now. I'm almost done making my chest plate. It's looking super safe. So we're gonna do something a little interesting here. What I heard the most is, you guys think Izzy's in the lead and Viv's in the lead as well. You two are the team captains. Did I mention we're doing a team dodgeball game? Izzy and Viv, rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to choose first. All right, Viv, choose your first te teammate. <laughs> All right, Mackenzie. She was my second <laughs> You hear that, Mackenzie? You're her second choice. Uh, you choose Jazz? Yay. You have no choice but to take Michelle. Yay. All right, artists, come with me. All right, everyone, rules are simple. So whichever team eliminates every single person on the other team wins. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Jake, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Jake. Mackenzie's the only one left on our team. Viv, get her! You have so many balls! Mackenzie, Viv, go get her! All right, Mackenzie is out! Mackenzie, you did well. Unfortunately, they just got you there at the end. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I really hope Zach likes it. I also added light. It's around 10.30 and I finished my mask. Everything's looking really good, so I'm happy. Also extremely tired though. It's early in the morning, working on my costume. Everyone, time is up. Yeah! Good job, everyone. Artists, I just want to say I'm really proud of all of you. Very good job. This is probably the best work I've seen out of all of you in one of our crafts videos. So with that being said, we're off to the runway. Woo! Artists. Welcome to the runway. What you just received was the number from one through six determining your order for the runway. Who has number one? Me! <laughs> All right, Jazz, let's go to the changing room. There better be a spike in viewership over here. Hey, editor, slow-mo this.
All right, everyone, close your eyes. I'm coming around. Knockout City gave us a really fun opportunity to create these costumes. It's not fitting around my cake. You really just just pull it up. Just I'm gonna break it. I'd like to thank my parents, my supporters. A few minutes later. Really close family friends, the Kardashians, Drake, Jay-Z. There's countless of them. I think everybody did super, super incredible, and I can't wait to see the rest of the costumes. Like a sexy killer clown. I present to you the sexy killer clown riding a horse. Give Zach's performance 8 out of 10. Where, where did the other two points go? So this is supposed to be like an armored kind of plate here. Oh! I like these costumes. I would like to thank my subscriber, Deja, because she really gave me a boost in confidence going into this competition. Ooh, this has a cool design on it. Oh, good one. Yeah, okay, here's your shirt. All right, here comes a psycho disco bunny hopping out for the first time ever. Oh. 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 I knew it was coming. Oh. Artists, that was our costume show. Yeah. Unfortunately, only one person is gonna walk away with the grand prize. We're gonna put the pressure on my subscribers today. I'm gonna put you guys in sudden death rounds against each other until we have two left. And then we'll do a vote from there. There are two stars in here. Whoever chooses the stars will face off and one subscriber will decide which one they like best. All right, everyone, look at your pieces of paper. The first sudden death round is between Mackenzie and Michelle. Your judge is subscriber Maureen Chavez. Between Michelle and Mackenzie, Michelle, you're eliminated. Oh. Sudden death round number two. All right, everyone take a look. You've got to be oh. kidding me again. Oh. Mackenzie versus Jake. Our subscriber's name is Christy. Oh my goodness, they're typing. Wait, I can't look. Oh, I just felt a buzz. Jake, oh. you're out. There are four left. Look at your card. You've got to be kidding me. No. Our judge's name, Ethan Mario. Oh my god, they're diving, they're diving, they're diving! Here you go. Oh! oh! Mackenzie, you made it! Viv, I'm so sorry! This is the semifinals. Take a look. <laughs> Our next judge, Vicky Rodriguez. In the annual semifinals of our costume contest. They are both super cool, but I will go with the second one. Which is Mackenzie! Good job, yes! Here's where things get interesting. We will be asking three subscribers. The subscriber we picked to be the judge for this one, her name is Kate. Ooh. The first vote goes to Mackenzie. Our next judge is Sammy RG. Izzy, if you get this vote, you tie things up. Mackenzie, if you get this vote, you get the dub. This vote goes to Ooh. Izzy. Oh. One versus one! We found our final judge, Angela. And the winner, with more than $10,000 on the line, is... Mackenzie, how many wins have you racked up? Nine? I've racked up nine wins. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Deja, for believing in me, and I'm gonna win you lots of money, okay? Everyone who lost the challenge, step in. 
Mackenzie and I are gonna pelt you with dodgeballs for three minutes. Each time you get pelted with a dodgeball, you have 30 burpees. If you catch a dodgeball, that's minus 50. Wait, from both sides? Mackenzie? Wait, what? I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> You have 70 burpees, 100 burpees, 130 burpees, 190 burpees, 250 burpees. Are you kidding me? You're just you want me to die? I can't even bend down. You start out with $10,000. Each time I hit you, you lose a thousand. And if you go into negatives, you have to start paying me. What? I'm just kidding. So obviously, I want the subscriber to win as much as possible, but we also have to keep this fair. So I'm just gonna be doing my best to help you, just so you know. Deja, if I'm on fire, I'm really, really sorry. Three, two, one, start. What? Wait, Mackenzie, come over here. I think I only got hit one time. All right, Mackenzie, you got hit seven times. That's 3,000, but we'll round it up to 5,000.